You better listen to your father when he's talking to you because he can help you avoid some heartache. And I'm talking to you, young men. This is really for everyone, but it's done gender form. So it sounds more like it's aimed towards men. But this is for anybody that's getting caught up in stupidity and getting lulled by it. Okay? Listen to this. And away we go. Proverbs chapter 7, starting at verse 6. For at the window of my house, I looked through my casement and beheld among the simple ones, I discerned among the youths a young man void of understanding, passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. And beheld, behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lieth in wait at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an impotent face said unto him, I have peace offerings with me. This day have I paid my vows. Therefore come I forth to meet thee, diligently to seek thy face. I have found thee. I have decked my bed with coverings of tapestry, with carved works with fine linen of Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh and aloes and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until the morning, and let us solace ourselves with loves. For the good man is not at home, he has gone a long journey. He hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. With her much fair speech, she caused him to yield. With the flattering of her lips, she forced him. He goeth after her straightway as an ox goeth to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till a dart strike through his liver, as a bird hasteth to the snare, and knoweth not that it is for his life. Hearken unto me now, therefore, O ye children, and attend to the words of my mouth. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. For she has cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell. Going down to the chambers of death. You really want to go there? You really want to play tiddlywinks and charades and, and Russian roulette with your soul? You want to play games with your life? You want to take those chances? Tinker with this and try that and play with a little bit of this and the other and yeah, I'm going to check that out and yeah, da -da, look how nice I mean. <laughs> Why do you think it's so enticing? Why do you think the things that we shouldn't do are so alluring? There's a stinger at the end of that tail. And it's not there to decorate your life. It's there to poison you to death. It's there to suck the very life out of you, to destroy you. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy He's not your friend. His little trinkets aren't there to make you have fun. A climax is not worth going to hell for. Making that little bit of money and wearing them chains around your neck, it's not worth it, baby. It's really not. It's not worth you spending half your life behind bars with other men pumping your behind full of lead. Or other women grabbing your body and doing what they please with it because they can beat you down if you don't cooperate. What price are you willing to pay 
for the crap out there. You ever hear the song Street Life? I play the street life because there's no place I can. You've heard the song. That song was an undercover way to call people out. Because there's, there are lines in it where it talks about Prince Charming hides behind the silver spoon. And if you keep him young, your song is always sung. Your love will pay your way beneath the silver moon. What do you think that is? That's the dope dealer. And that's you getting hooked on dope and having to prostitute your body to keep your habit going. Come on. But... <laughs> But you better not get old, because you're going to feel the cold. I mean, the street life will suck you in and kick you to the curb and tell you to drop dead while you rolling down the way. Trust me when I say, there's a stinger at the end of that tail. It's alluring now. Watching the chicks shake their little booties and their butts and the, you know, all these little settings and you partying and you, yeah, oh yeah, this is good. And you toting and you snorting and you drinking and you doing everything you're big and bad enough to do and shooting too. And getting every climax and nuts you can bust away. And you steadily committing slow suicide. With a grin on your face. You laughing your way to death. And you don't even know it. And when it gets a hold to you, baby, you can't just walk away. Oh, you locked in. You can't walk away. That thing got a hold on you. You really got a hold on me. Oh, no. You're going to be crying. How did I get in this mess? You walked right into it. And then when you play with it, and you play with it, <laughs> yeah, baby, and it gets a hold of you, and you trying to bust loose and let me go. You find yourself locked in for life. And it's got you. You are its plaything now. It can do with you what it wants. You may hate the fact that you got to stick that needle in your arm again. You may hate the fact that you got to go out there and sell your behind. You may hate it. You up there in jail and that guard, if you want to keep him happy, baby, you got to do what you got to do. You got to fork it up. You got to bring some to get some, baby. And the longer you live, the more you find out that street life is basically sodomized everything about you. It has sodomized your dignity. And you sold your soul to it, thinking you were going to party, party, get down. Hey, hey, baby, hey. Yeah, I got something for you. Yeah, that's right. The devil got something for you, all right. You just keep on playing with him. You'll see.